Photos Taken Before Disaster, Part 1. This photo from last year shows seven-year-old Arthur Bittencourt giving a thumbs up while playing in a pile of poisonous limestone powder. Just minutes later, Arthur was fighting for his life after accidentally inhaling particles of the toxic substance. He was quickly rushed to the hospital but pronounced dead on arrival. This peaceful photo of the New York City skyline was taken around 8.30 a.m. on September 11, 2001. Just 16 minutes later, all hell would break loose as a plane crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. I think we all know how this one went down. This 1975 photo of Sean and Michael McQuilkin was taken just moments before they were struck by lightning at Sequoia National Park. All three, including their photographer sister, survived the strike. The younger brother Sean suffered third degree burns and spent six months in a coma. After being unable to overcome the physical and mental toll of the incident, Sean sadly ended up taking his own life in 1989. Alafia, my name is Oshun Amare. On this channel, we uncover the creepiest, most unusual haunted TikToks the internet has to offer for entertainment purposes. Please do me a favor and like, comment, and subscribe to the Soul Tribe for your weekly dose of Supernatural coming to you every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursdays, and a bonus day. Thank you for being here with me. Now, let's get into this video. <laughs> you know the Mars theory? That there's aliens on Mars? Nah, there's a theory that Mars uh. was the original planet that humans were from. Okay. Then something happened that we all had to fly to another planet and live on. There used to be like civilization that lived on Mars. Now back this uh -huh. on Mars, there's an element on the periodic table called xenon. Xenon yeah. on Earth is only found. This is crazy. It's only found after a nuclear explosion. No, no, no. Oh, that's not even the super mode button. I said, no. <laughs> what the hell? And yeah. it goes hand in hand now. What if on Mars, there was a nuclear warfare, destroyed the whole planet, but people were able to escape just in time, yeah. landed on Earth, and they had to restart from nothing. So we are the aliens. We're the aliens. What the hell? Yeah. It's real shit. Like, this element's called Xenon. It's prominent after nuclear explosion. Oh, yeah. I am an alien. <laughs> Check it out. Shapeshifter. Right? That's what we're thinking. Okay, let's watch it again. This has been sent to me like 20 times for me to, you know, analyze it to see what I think. Keep watching. Pay attention. right there that's the one that kind of gets me right there you can see me snapping the screenshots while i'm <laughs> watching this trying to catch each frame and that's what we're going to look at we're going to look at each frame on when it happens and we're going to see what's going on so first off this is what we have and you know i have to rule out every possibility is this a movie i don't know and i haven't seen it if it is although i'm sure the comments will say it with no information or no links to back it up if you do have that information Please back it up. Don't say it. Because if you say it and you can't back it up, it looks pathetic. So let's get started. We see this first frame right here. You can see me snapping these frames. And I'm just going to show you through each one. Because we're going to look at it. This is a real thing. For me it is. This is real. I'm not saying this video. I'm saying that this phenomenon is very real, I think. Considering personal things I've seen. Now this video is more than likely AI. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. But it might not be so let's check it out see this okay now we see this i've tried to lighten it up and clear it up and look when usually when i do that now i will say this if it's artificial intelligence it'll kind of gleam out it'll it'll fade out i could not get the skull the image to fade out whatsoever i mean it stayed solid so that could have some authenticity to it so let's check this next frame Okay, then you can see this here. And actually, I got those two frames crossed up. And the other one goes after this one. So let, let's watch this one. I'm not going to even go back try to connect, correct the video. We'll just go back. All right, so this is actually the second frame. All right, so check that out. Right, let's go back. This is third frame. Now, right before she turns all the way around, this is what happens. 
this guy looks terrified. I don't have him on this image, but this is what ends up happening. That's the same person right there. Now, is this an AI-generated, is it AI-generated content where this guy just looks like that the whole time and they've added everything else to me? Who knows? I'll let you leave the comments. You tell me. You tell me what's going on. Is this a shapeshifter? I have never seen that before. If that is a movie, it definitely looks like a movie. But he ain't even say nothing about the little short guy coming out of the blue guy's chest. So I'm going to have to go with Cat. I don't believe it. Creepy, though. Remember when we watched Black Phone? Yeah. Do you remember seeing the scene of the paper boy with yeah. the dog? Uh -huh. So that was an actual case. In the 80s, right? There was a 12-year-old boy. His name was Johnny Gosh. And every morning, him and his dad would go pick up the, the papers. And then he would just go off on his regular route. And there was this one time where his dad didn't want to go. I guess he was tired. So instead of him going by himself, he just took the, the family dog with him. He goes to pick up his regular newspapers to, to deliver. But then there's another man following him in the car then a neighbor says that they heard like someone closing the the door really loud and the car just skirting off and then all that was left was his wagon and the dog was there too but not until like later in the day neighbors complained that they didn't get their newspaper in the morning oh. so they got worried they called the cops dumbass cops were like yo you gotta wait 72 hours because he's probably just another runaway oh. You gotta wait. Oh so time passes, time passes. There was a prisoner who came out. He worked for another guy. And the guy is in charge of, of a business selling kids and kidnapping kids. He had showed him a picture of Johnny saying like, yo, this is the next kid we're gonna kidnap. They end up going to Johnny's neighborhood. They fucking kidnap him. And he says that the guy basically forces Paul to Johnny, Johnny. on tape. All this shit he claimed to a detective, but... The FBI didn't believe him. I don't know why. And then more years pass. In 2006, she ends up getting mail. She opens it up. And it's pictures. three pictures. I'm not going to show you the pictures. I'm not going to pull them up. Because it's three young boys. One of the boys is Johnny. She said that one of the boys looked exactly like Johnny. She told the cops too. Like they didn't think it was him. So they didn't investigate it even more. So they just left that case as it is. And to this day, he has never been found. And he's also one of the first of many on the milk cartons. They will show missing kids in the milk cartons. He was like one of the first missing childs that they will put on there. But they had asked the mom if she had ever come in contact with him at any any point. She says yes. Where she got a knock on the door like around two o'clock. Johnny would have been like twenty seven at this time. <laughs> that's how I really be though, right? Does it is like that for anybody else? I swear, that's funny. <laughs> how you can tell our earth is not freaking round. Everything I see. I'm on the 41st floor. That's South Beach in front of me. Watch. I can see in front of the ocean and the... I got a rabbit hole for you to dive into. And if you don't feel like diving into it, I do have a video that's posted. It's already uploaded where you can watch the full story. But back in 2005, 2006, maybe 2007, YouTube was not the same. People used to talk about the weird side of YouTube. All of YouTube was weird back then. There were no guidelines. People were posting the craziest stuff. There was a Russian guy who was fertilizing chicken eggs with his own swimmers. He was trying to recreate life and he was successful. People were able to watch three babies be made. They don't look like babies that we would expect them to look like. This guy was always really frantic and he never showed his face, but we could recognize his hands. He was always posting in different rooms like he was on the run. People were saying that he was actually being looked for by Russian authorities for crimes against humanity. He was wanted by world authority figures for breaking like universal laws. Supposedly there is a world peace treaty or like a world treaty that prevents people from interbreeding species. It's called homunculus. I have the full video. I already posted it. Or you can just dive down this creepy ass rabbit hole by yourself. Everything seems pretty normal up until this point. You'll see some pictures here in a moment. But then about here, things get a little strange. So now we're going to go through a series of pictures where you see the little girl have a range of emotions. And then right about here, she sees something wrong as he pulls away. What does she see? Well, we're all about to see it for ourselves as he stands up and looks at the camera right here. What's weird is somehow the guy holding the microphone misses this part. But here, very soon, he's going to notice something that is amiss. I think that'll be right about here. And he looks a little amiss. I think that'll be right about here. And he looks a little disturbed. 
After seeing this, he quickly walks away and then acts like nothing ever happened. Look at his face. Yikes. You also see a couple of Elvis' men uh, seeing everything as it happens. One of them steps in front of the camera. The other man goes directly for the eye that was just melting. Here we go again in real time. See Elvis' guy step in front of the camera right here. Then the other guy goes right for the eye. He go check out Humunculus on her page and let me know what that's about. And um, Elvis, clearly something was wrong with his face. And I don't think they had any kind of digital situations back then to where they could manufacture that. Um, that looked really weird. And the guy definitely stood in front of the camera and the other guy definitely went straight for his eye. His face looked like it was melting. Like, what the heck was that? <laughs> Did you hear the um, Walmart theory? No. So theory goes that Walmart has secret underground tunnels underneath every single store in the United States, allowing their wealthy owners to keep things private from their competitors. This is terrifying, bro. Check this out. So there was this guy, uh, I think his name was Celine, and he and his mom moved to Cleveland, Ohio. He had settled in really well to the neighborhood, and he had also just started his new job in Walmart. He was so excited about his first shift. But things took a turn for the worst, super fast. Salim was a quiet guy, and his decision to work the night shift made sense as he wasn't really a people person. As the clock struck midnight, Salim was returning some empty storage boxes to the back of the warehouse when he came across a large door that read, store owner, private, keep out. His curiosity got the better of him. He peeped through the door. he just seen a set of stairs leading down into a pit of darkness. He followed the creaky wooden stairs down a dark, cold corridor. He could feel the sense of fear as the cold walls dripped with condensation. Suddenly, he realized things were not as they seem. For part two, comment Walmart part two. I couldn't find part two. Let me know if you can, because we need to we need to figure that out. I want to know what happened. <laughs> Straight up, honey, really, I'm asking. That girl Who's right there. Look. Her. Her. I mean, I mean, my bad. Uh, and my bad. Who you be with? Things to make you smile. What numbers to dial? They knew, bro. They knew. They knew, but hold on. Check it out. Look. He told her. Oh, uh oh. -uh. Right in our faces. They need the whole time. Giddy LL, they all knew it, bro. Dude, what? Uh, oh my goodness. It's been in our face the whole time. Oh my goodness. Do y'all know who that is? If that's who it's supposed to be, that's Sydney Starr. And Sydney Starr is a well known um, um I don't know the political correct word nowadays, but she's a transgender. And yeah, she did you hear the words? of what they were saying in the song. They were literally saying that he is she and you swingling baby, you jingling baby and oh my goodness. And then he said he knows and pointed at her like, wow, wow. I was a kid back then, but still that's crazy. Like really crazy. I don't think that's Sydney Star. Only because of the age. I don't know how old Sydney Star is, but for that person to be grown in these videos, I don't think Sydney Star is that old. So he may be reaching now that I'm thinking about it. He he may be reaching. I think he's reaching. But still, doppelganger, because that definitely looked just like Sydney Star. I, that's all I'm saying. I don't know. But still, yeah. Secrets of hip-hop, Hollywood, weirdos. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know what really cracks me up? One moment you all say that I talk about God too much, and then the next you say I'm selling my soul. Which is it, my loves? I love God so much. And I love music, and I just have a lot of passion. That's what you call it. <laughs> Ex fucking excuse me beware of bear the fuck Richard well I found the fucking bear right as I was delivering the package I'm just trying to get in the video now but hey guys you wanna go scary especially with my hands yo there's somebody yo there's somebody watching you on the back where <laughs> oh my god oh my god all right going random nodding and it took us to this shady park in the middle of nowhere so let's see what we find all we see so far is like trees a bridge i think we have to go over this bridge and our location's a little down there what the Oh, what the fuck? Uh, should we keep going? What the fuck? Oh my god, is she following us? Let's go even further down the rabbit hole. She always had the pointy chin. Solange always had a flat chin, correct? Flat chin? Pointy chin. Say one more time. Flat chin, pointed chin. Still not convinced, huh? Peep the noses. Peep how Beyonce nose is flat. And Solange's nose is more like open. Now let's try it from another angle. Cause you know y'all love to talk about angles. More open, flat. And the crazy thing about it, y'all still won't believe me. <laughs> so look, open your eyes. I mean, just look how close these tour dates are. I really believe one person going to all these different cities. I'm talking about back to back, flight to flight, four to five hour performances. Use our head, bro. Well, uh, it's very simple. I have a clone. What was he like really trying to say? That Solange and Beyonce are the same person or that Solange acts as Beyonce sometimes. Like, I don't get it, I don't know. Anyway, the lady that was running at the end when they were rando nodding, that jump scared me. Like, I gotta figure out the dual screen thing because I want y'all to get my real reaction. Um, and that scared me. <laughs> I was like, oh, child. <laughs> Is this a coincidence? Tree stump. Fingerprints. Tree branch. Human lungs. Leaf veins. Human veins. Tree of life. Human placenta. Someone posed a really good question. A113, let's talk about it. So A113 shows up in a lot of cartoons, a lot of films, all that kind of stuff. Check this out. Now the official narrative is that it's a room 
at the California Institute of Arts where a lot of animators took a class. That's the official story. I find it really interesting because symbolism is very important in the entertainment industry. What do you guys think? Do you believe the official narrative or do you think there's something more to it? It blows my mind how nobody's talking about this. Watch this video. Pay attention to what David Dobrik says happened to his friend. But the, the, the point of the story is she really wanted to be famous, I guess. That's, mm -hmm. that's a, yeah, that's what she wanted to be. And she met somebody um, who could promise her that. And she met somebody. Have you ever heard this? No. She met somebody. This is crazy. And he was like, I know how to make you famous. And she's like, how? And he's like, we can turn you into anything. Like, Scientology. We can turn you, honestly. It may have been, may have been. Like We can turn you into a singer, an actor, whatever you want. Bro, this story gets crazy. Like this video and follow me for part two. Let's get it. Cat Williams. Yo, did y'all see how Cat Williams exposed McDonald's? Look at that. How does McDonald's make better french fries than any other group of people in the whole fucking world? I couldn't understand it. How is that possible? It's only two ingredients. It's just the potatoes and the grease. You ain't never seen this motherfucking raw. The regular potato is like this. The motherfucking McDonald's potato weighs 12 pounds, bitch. All the potatoes around the world. Brown on the outside. White on the inside. Not the McDonald's potato. Damn, I don't give a fuck about... Listen. All this public bullshit that y'all be seeing i always tell y'all this and a lot of y'all know what i'm about to say this shit be fake bro it be fake man it be set up it be scripted it be designed it be fake okay and i want y'all to understand the reason why they do this i always tell y'all whenever whenever something take the world's attention just understand it's a bigger agenda behind it they do this all the time with rappers celebrities basketball players it's always that one thing that happens every year that takes the world attention you see what I'm saying? It's always that one thing. When you look back at all these years, it's always one like star moment of the year. Like 2020, we had the whole pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 I remember, um, we had the Kobe situation that happened. Like it's always some big shit that take the world's attention. You see what I'm saying? What ain't going to be big when a motherfucker, you, you telling me of, of, of a big celebrity, a, a famous funny celebrity at that. Walk up and smack a motherfucker in their face that ain't gonna go viral. That's gonna go viral. These people know this, man. Every day, and I'm not talking specifically about Will Smith and them. I'm talking about the elites, the people that run Will Smith and them. Because I always tell y'all, these people have masters. They got mommies and daddies, quote, you know what I mean, that they gotta run back to at the end of the night. They got people that they gotta actually work for. You know what I'm saying? Because I always tell y'all, being black as a celebrity, being a black millionaire or a black billionaire or anything like that, I keep telling y'all this whole entertainment clout world that we live in, the, the rap world, the hip hop, all that shit is ran by white people. I want Today I'm going to give you three reasons that the book of consciousness you need to let yourself be musted. Mm, I'm musted now. Let's go. Number one, releasing toxins from the body. You're releasing toxins from the body through the lymphatic system. It's oozing toxic bacteria secretion that's killing cancer cells and bacteria through your armpits. Number two, you plugging up your pores with metal. Most deodorant have aluminum in it that keep bacteria trapped under the arm for 24 hours. It's designed that way to keep you using deodorant. Let them armpits breathe. Number three, imbalanced hormones. Aluminum chloride they found in deodorants block the secretion of estrogen-induced residue, which if left in the body can cause irregular protein stability and mood. Y'all let them armpits breathe when you ain't around nobody, you feel me? Let that must be alive. <laughs> he really said, mmm, I must be now. <laughs> but he definitely speaking facts. Um, I use all natural products myself, honey. I don't do toothpaste, deodorant, body wash, lady products, everything. I use natural products. Uh, yeah, I don't play when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, definitely, ladies, pop your chlorophyll pill, honey, or get you some chlorophyll drops, and you'll be good. You shouldn't have no body odor. But, um, yes, the must 
definitely be real when <laughs> you do when he says, because I have and I do, okay? And I don't have no shame in my game. I'm home. It's cool. <laughs> What's up, y'all, man? I know that y'all know that today the solar eclipse is coming, and I'm here to let y'all know why this is going on. The solar eclipse is happening right now because of P. Diddy. I know a lot of y'all looking at me crazy, like I don't know what I'm talking about, and I'm losing my mind, but y'all gotta think about this stuff. P. Diddy, P. Diddy has enough money to distract the world, so P. Diddy trying to distract us from the allegations. Think about it. All of a sudden, J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar. That's because he knows that the solar eclipse is about to come today. So he apologized and get his sins away because God is coming. And he's trying to like repent because he knows the solar eclipse is going to eclipse us. It's going to eclipse us. So y'all need to be prepared. We have been fucking lied to, bro. Like, what the actual fuck? First of all, love and light to each and every one of you. But um, we have to talk about this. This. The fucking alchemist. Like, what the fuck? So honestly, I thought that I knew everything when it comes to the basis of spirituality, religion, Jesus, God, you know, all that. Until I fucking read this book. Now, mind you, it's not so much about the story. It's about what I learned after I read the book. So, I'm going to just keep it a buck 50. I didn't know what alchemy was. I've seen the word plenty of times. Never knew what it was. So, after I read the book, you know, Spirit said, go do some research. Learn about alchemy. So, that's exactly what I did. And when I tell you that I learned a whole bunch of shit that I'm not even going to say here because I'm still learning, I learned some shit. Let me just say, if you are trying to really dig deep into spirituality religion like god jesus all that go read the alchemist first and after you read the alchemist go discover some shit go read some shit and then come back and comment and let me know what you think because when i say like i don't even know what else to say in this video love me like y'all I think anyone who hasn't experienced racism shouldn't say anything about it. Full stop. Five years in a black neighborhood, happen. I got in a fight every other day for it. Okay, but that's... Because I had red hair, they called yeah. me rooster, I literally got in fights every day. So you got bullied. Ooh. That's not racism. Exactly. Oh, it's no, not. It's, <laughs> kind of, it's discrimination based on what it he is looks racist. like. It's not. So exactly racism. what racism is. No, because stop. he wasn't oppressed. We were the ones that oppressed, so you can't call that racism. How, how are you oppressed? oppressed. No, but I'm not In 2023, oppressed. how are you oppressed? Because I got news for you, honey. If you had a skill set that was worth something to somebody, you would be the richest fucker in here. I have a lot of young black men that follow me. There's no fucking way on earth I'm gonna let them believe that they have a lesser chance than anybody else if they just work their ass off. Bro, we have looking at racism color. is for broke people. No. <laughs> it's don't, not don't insulting. You lead with it. Get a new don't identity. Da -da 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 -da. No, I'm a black me, girl. Boy, what? You're so much more than that. You're don't so say, much more oh, than yeah. that. Hey queens, tired of feeling stuck and overworked? Check out the video on my website and see if digital marketing may be your way out. Hope to hear from you soon. If you're open to being a financial professional licensed in your state, please send me an email at essence at tenaciouscashflowacademy.com. Um, as you may or may not know, I live in Tampa and if you've seen the weather lately, there is a tropical storm Debbie going on, okay? So, sorry if you hear the rain and the wind, but this show must still go on, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, but who is who is he? Like, who is he and what is he talking about? He clearly does not know what the hell he's talking about. Like, we're not even about to go there. I am not even about to give him my energy, but he's so wrong. Sorry, um, vanilla people. He's wrong. And if you agree with him, you're wrong too. So, yeah, we're going to leave that there. <laughs> you face north when you sleep, you'll be more connected and better sleep. Yeah. Every time you didn't sleep well, yeah. maybe check the direction you're, you're sleeping. Okay. And then that's why people say, like, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Maybe you woke up on, like, this side of the bed and you weren't facing north or wherever yeah. you usually face. Because, yo, look, Loki, because uh, I know you probably have better sleeps than Pickering. Because mm. you said you don't even like fucking And it's sleeping facing yet. north. Really? Yeah, it is. Like, okay, because I have this. I have better sleeps in Pickering too than here. 
So I might and have to. Is it facing north? You have to check. Yeah, I have to check. But I'm facing like this way. I'm actually facing north. Like I. <laughs> but even though our our bedrooms are small, it's sh imagine like we we changed since that theory came up. We just <laughs> Like, we, we rearranged all the furniture. <laughs> Our layout is so shit. Like, it's, like yo, it's tap like, in in the comments which direction you guys sleep yeah. in, and tap in if you guys actually good try. Sleep. No, like actually try sleeping in north, yeah. and let me know <laughs> if it actually affects your sleep. Cause it might. It yeah, low key yeah. might. Everybody's bed layout is about to be different. <laughs> yes. For the first three days, there is no showering. They put you in a circle, which is a, it's a TP. It's a little TP, but it's open. And you have to sit there for three days. They wouldn't let me lay down for nothing. Like, I was falling asleep and they were like, uh-uh, get up, get up. So I'm just sitting here like, this is gonna be really bad. When I seen these people have no sympathy, I was like, oh, I'm really, like, I'm really doomed. They strip you from your whole personality. You have to act like just whoever they want you to act like. They told me, okay, these are what your chores are gonna be. I don't remember what they were, but they were like, these are what your chores are gonna be. This is what you're gonna be doing. Here's your level one binder. You do the same thing every day, chop wood, take care of the animals. This place is all about taking away privileges. Like, okay, yeah, the phone is a privilege, TV, like all that. But they take away like necessity privileges, like sleeping on a bed, eating good food, not being cold. Shock, I mean, children aren't supposed to handle that sort of stuff. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. Then it's widespread? Oh, yeah. I was surrounded by them. For years now, as evidenced on Nightline in 2011, Corey Feldman has been claiming that he and his good friend, the late Corey Haim, were victims of molestation when they were young actors. Last year, he opened up to our Alex Hudgens. Why did Kids are scared. Then? You know, kids don't think I'm going to go. First of all, for me, the person that was doing it to me the most... You know, um, well, I mean, I could say that the, the two people that did it to me were both close friends of mine, or so I thought. Feldman claims Haim endured more than him. In his book, Choreography, he alleges that Haim was raped on the set of the 1986 film, Lucas. The following year, 1987, their film, The Lost Boys, came out. It was when we were both on the set of Lost Boys that, you know, things were happening to both of us, you know, not from anyone on the set, I might I clear that up, but, you know, outside elements. How did people not know when these are two, or, or did they know and they just weren't doing anything about it? I mean, I know he told a lot of people. That's the thing that's so upsetting to me. It's not like it's just me that knows this story. Other people know. A lot of people know. They're still working, they're still out there, and they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. Back in 2013, on The View, Feldman was insistent that perpetrators are still out there, but says he won't name names due to statute of limitation laws in California. He also has another reason that echoes something we've heard regarding Harvey Weinstein. From what I've seen, every time somebody tries to bring up a public name and they have a lot of money and power and a publicity machine behind them, the person who does the accusing is the one that ends up looking bad. They would pull away the better looking younger kids and keep them for their own after party and it would turn into a pool party and then they'd have their rules oh there's no swimsuits on in the pool in the wake of the weinstein scandal the producers of the film an open secret about teen sex abuse in hollywood released the film for free on vimeo for nine days much of the film focuses on the organized system within hollywood for grooming and then abusing children At the end of the day it's got to change there's so many people out there that have been affected by this Ariana Grande was actually tormented by demons. Ariana Grande? Yeah, it's called Stull Cemetery, mm -hmm. right? And she went there in 2014. Yeah. And this cemetery is so haunted that the Pope himself mm -hmm. won't even fly over it. So while she was there, she already said, she when I got there, I, was o I had this sick, overwhelming feeling. Mm -hmm. And it smelled like sulfur. Oh, is that like the smell of... When you smell sulfur, that means a D the D word yeah. is present right Yo. so right away so right away she said so as soon as she got that feeling yeah, yeah. she said oh I, I i did an apology but right before she left she took a picture of the cemetery mm -hmm. and in that picture she sees distinct figures no three of three faces of text she have is it of textbook demons yo what the fuck bro i'm telling you it's so fucked. she came out and said all of this stuff yeah, too it's a complex oh you see that let me face? see yeah go that looks like a person. Yeah, like peeking out.
Hey guys, I just want to give you an update. I'm not dead. I have not disappeared. Uh, I have just been busy with life. I couldn't get around to posting and updating you guys. So now, now I'm going to give you an official update of what's been going on. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but all of the videos that I post, all the videos that I posted were scripted. They're just fake. They were just strictly for entertainment. I uh, sorry to disappoint you guys. I just needed to give you a quick update. Yeah, see, there go Andrew. Didn't I tell y'all in the other video that he made a video that was really weird and he seemed like he was being forced to say something? There you go. That's my proof. <laughs> because he you he clearly he clearly did not uh set this up. He clearly didn't was not speaking his own words. You could tell he's looking like, uh, is this what you want me to say? Like off to the side of the camera, like, oh man, Andrew, hope everything's um good and well with you, buddy. But um, all the rest of those were interesting as well. But let me know how you feel in the comments about them individually. But you have reached the end of another video. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for being here with me as usual. I do not take your time for granted at all. Um, please come back again. And make sure you share this with your auntie, your uncle, your nephew, your niece, your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your bestie, your enemy. Because what? Anybody can't get it. <laughs> Email me if you need uh, any help or any information on different kinds of life insurances or digital products, becoming a passive income, um, <clears throat> things of that nature. I appreciate you being here with me and we are out. Deuces.